Live on a story making national headlines. A Grand Canyon tour guide suing a major airline. He claims he was wrongfully identified as the suspect in an airport burglary, leading to a 17-day stay in jail. ABC 15's Jordan Botke speaking with that man tonight. How much time have you ever spent in Tarrant County to begin with? Uh, none. Just changing planes in Dallas, Fort Worth. I never even left the airport. That's Michael Lowe of Flagstaff, a Grand Canyon tour guide. Back in May of 2020, he was flying from Flagstaff to Reno with a layover in Dallas Fort Worth International Airport. Little did he know at the time, but someone on that flight was a burglary suspect, wanted by police for trying to steal from a DFW airport duty free shop. According to a lawsuit filed in Texas, Lowe was the one identified in connection with that burglary. I traveled for the next 14 months completely unaware that these child tra uh, charges had been filed against me. Lowe found out about the accusation more than a year later. While vacationing in New Mexico on July 4th, 2021, Lowe was a witness to an altercation. According to the lawsuit, police ran Lowe's name through a law enforcement database and his outstanding warrant popped up, leading to more than two weeks of jail time. I don't feel like I'm the same person after spending that time in jail and the 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 horrificness of what I witnessed still haunts me. The suit states Lowe was eventually released from jail in New Mexico without any explanation. Eventually, DFW airport police compared security video images from the store burglary suspect against Lowe's mugshot in New Mexico and determined Lowe was not the person in the video. And it was American Airlines security that provided his name, according to airport police records. Scott Palmer is Lowe's attorney out of Dallas. They didn't comply with the search warrant. Search warrant asked for a manifest, and um, they decided to play detective instead of flying planes. American Airlines sent us a statement in response saying, as required by law, American cooperates with and responds to court orders for information related to possible criminal activity, and that's what we did in this instance when we were presented with a search warrant. We also reached out to DFW Airport Police, but haven't yet heard back. As for the actual burglary suspect, it's unclear whether that person has ever been caught. Jordan Bontke, ABC 15, Arizona.